Welcome to another edition of English Makes No Sense. Thank you for joining me right here on the English Makes No Sense YouTube channel. It is I, SL Rockfish, so happy you could join me. Today, if it's your first day, it's my first day of doing a grammar lesson. Wow, so welcome. It's a first for both of us. If you're returning, thank you so much. If you're a subscriber, you rock. As everyone who turns on and subscribes, I appreciate it. If you like what you see and you're new, hit subscribe. If you're like, I'm not really into grammar, then I have other lessons, pronunciation problems, uh, learning how to different phrases and sayings, all down below, check it out. And then we have totally American sayings and reading lessons. So check it out, come on, I got lots. It'll only take you a few minutes. But if you're really busy and you only have 60 seconds, I'm on TikTok at English Makes No Sense, Instagram, English Makes No Sense, and Facebook at English Makes No Sense. Now, let's begin. It's Grammar Day. We're going to call it OMG, it's Grammar. Ha! Today, we're going to take a look at two articles. You know, articles that come before words, a uh, and an. Huh? No, a uh, and an. A uh, and an, they look so similar. We use a uh for un- specified singular nouns that start with a consonant sound. Let me get closer. Use a for nouns that start with a consonant sound. Hmm, what does that mean? For example, a boy, a girl, a truck. We don't know which boy, which girl, which truck, but a truck, a truck, a boy, a girl. B, G, T makes the consonant sound. Now, if we've got that, if we want to use an A, N, we use that for unspecified singular nouns that start with a vowel sound. Now, remember that, a vowel sound, not just a vowel. Remember your vowels first. A, E, I, O, or U. Now, we can use an for short vowel sounds like an egg, an igloo, an umbrella, an octopus. All those are nouns that are start with a vowel sound, a short vowel sound. But if the vowels, let's say your, vo your word starts with a vowel, but it has the long U sound. Ready? The long U sound. Unless the word makes the long U sound, whoop, or it makes the Y sound, like Y in a uh, European. We do not say an European. No, no, no. If it makes the Y sound, it's a uh, European. A eunuch, a eucalyptus plant. Why? I don't know, because the y, the y sound is a consonant sound. Even though these start with an e, we say a, uh, because it makes the y sound. But if we have, like I said, unspecified singular noun that makes the short vowel sound, always use the a n. But if the the noun makes the long U sound, then we use a university, a uniform. A unicorn, a unicycle, a universe, a union. Huh? Yeah. If it makes the long U sound, we use a. If it makes, it has a vowel and it makes the Y sound like a eunuch, a eucalyptus, a European, we don't use and. But we do use an for an egg, an igloo, an apple, an orange. But not if it makes the long U sound. And these are the only words I could think of with long U. A university, a uniform, a unicorn. Why? I don't know because they would sound so odd. A unicorn or an university. Doesn't work. You just have to remember that. So, a uh, for unspecified singular nouns that start with a consonant. Got it. And 
for unspecified singular nouns that start with the vowel sound. And remember, vowels, A, E, I, O, or U. But if that U is a long U, then you start with a. A university, a uniform, a unicorn, a unicycle, a universe, a union. If it starts with the, makes the Y sound, you put a European, a eunuch, a eucalyptus plant. Why? Because English always has an exception to the rule. That's just the way it is. So I guess it really is, OMG, it's grammar. I hope that helped clear it up. Rewind if you need me to go slower. I will try to speak slower if you do. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much. I hope this helps. If you're, you know, doing a little English writing and you're like, I don't know when to use a, uh, I don't know when to use an. Remember, all for nouns that start with a consonant sound. A consonant sound. And the EU is a consonant sound. It makes the Y sound. Okay? And a uh goes for all of the of the unspecified nouns that start with a consonant sound. Unless it makes the long U sound. Long U sound, a university, a uniform, a unicorn, a unicycle, a universe, a union. Unbelievable. I know. Thank you for joining me. Peace, friends.